In this section, we go ahead and add a critical points frame. And to do that, you select this button that says Add Frame. And then down in the Frame Dialog Control Panel here, you select the Critical Points option. And it puts a Critical Points box uh, in this space. In this case, you can see that it's anchored in the lower right corner of our page. I can put it up in the upper right hand corner or put it wherever I want to in the the page. The size of it, the height of it is irrelevant because it, the height of it is determined by the font size which is being used, but the width is relevant and you can change the width by simply going and selecting the, the width in this uh, drop down box here. In this case right here you can also change the font and I'll go change the font to uh, a century bold italic and uh, change the color to green and go OK and there we have our font changed to the different colors and sizes and style that we want. You'll notice here that there's some overwriting of the text and the comment goes over into the measured depth and over into this. Now you can't directly adjust that but through any other way than changing the font size making it smaller or by possibly expanding the width of the critical points to give you enough space to have that whole thing printed out but there's another way of doing it which I will just tease you with right now by giving you an example of what Inkscape promises to do once we get through all the different parts of what we need to do to build up Inkscape is a scale vector, it's, it's SVG editor, it's a special editor which has been designed by hundreds of people around the world over years and it allows us to bring in our production of what we have and then do the kind of detailed editing that we need to do. In this case, let's say I want to move my critical points up a little bit, I'll put it up here at the top and then uh, I want to go ahead and fix this problem with the size of that text and so I just click on that text and then I can just squeeze it down so that it fits in and then I'm happy with that and last but not least maybe I just want to resize the whole thing make it smaller so that I can tuck it someplace else this is a remarkably powerful tool and we'll go into great detail on how you can use it to do all sorts of things to customize your graph Again, you can also adjust your scaling size here in your, b before you get into Inkscape so that you can size things up and, and scale them down to fit in. A useful feature. Another way of adjusting the size of your columns is to use this uh, proxy control down here. This uh, gives us a grid control that we can use to, to widen up that comment. As you can see, it has enough room there now but if I bring it back, I can start to override it. So that's a, several ways of adjusting it.